peace, 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 love, and light. Hey, what's up? This is Chief Kalanago with another video. Hope everybody is doing fine. As you could see, Chief Kalanago is dropping them videos like hotcakes and kind of, um, you know, stepping it up, taking it to the next level. Um, what's crippling our people, and when I say our people, I mean, you know, the American Aborigines and even more so the so-called black people and African Americans who don't know that they are nationless or stateless. What's killing them is this, is this legal system. They leak everything within these legal systems, their courts, their statutes, their codes, their ordinances, all of those things are quasi-courts. They are not real. Okay, they are not real entities. They are representing the fictitious you. So every time you supposedly get arrested or you get a ticket, what's really getting the ticket or getting arrested, it is not the flesh you. It is the capital U on paper, that birth certificate U, that bond paper, okay? That's what's really getting, you know, getting arrested. So I'm going to do a lecture and break all those things down for you, but I am posting a lot of videos on common law and all people should really get and in, in, into the law, master common law, because you see, that's what's crippling our people. If you realize the people who really understand this, they send their children to school to be so-called what they call attorneys, okay? But attorneys, they work for the legal system. And what a lot of people don't realize is this. When you go play these games, you are playing a game. And I'm going to break it down to you real quick. You are on a court. You are in a court. Where do you play basketball? You play basketball on a court. Where do you play table tennis, right? Where do you play lawn tennis? You play on a court. The truth of the matter is you are playing a game. And a lot of people are playing a game they don't understand. A lot of people are playing a game where the odds are against them. A lot of people are playing a game where they don't have home court advantage. So I'm kind of going to break it down to you. Okay? When you play basketball, you play basketball on a court. When they pull you into their system, what they do? They pull you into a court. Now, let us look at the, the you know, let, let us look at the parallel of those two games that people play. One, you are playing sports for enjoyment or whatever you played for. And the other, you're playing for your life, so to speak, your freedom, okay? Your rights, your, your, your creator-given rights. So, the truth of the matter is, when you're on a basketball court, right, you're playing to win, not to lose. But when you go into a court of a legal court, you're also playing to win, not to lose. But the only difference is in that legal court, you have a 99% chance of losing because the lawyer is against you. Your own lawyer is against you. The judge is against you. The prosecutor is against you. So what chances do you have to win? So here's the analogy. Here's the parallel. On a basketball court, you have the players. Okay, so you are one of the players. The judge is a player, in a, in a, in a sense. The prosecutor is a player. Okay, um, your, your lawyer or your so-called lawyer attorney is a player, right? So here's what's happening. You have, on a basketball court, you have what's called a referee. A referee is what makes decisions. Kind of like make sure everybody's in check, making sure no fights are breaking out. Just making sure the game is orderly. Or ran in an orderly fashion. Who plays that role in the court when they drag you into a court? The judge. So the judge and the referee is the same. Okay? Now, let us look at your attorney. Your attorney is the one that come in your ear and give you advice, tell you what to do. Right? Your attorney tell you, well, say this, say that. Well, take a plea. Don't do this. Don't do that. That's sort of like your, your coach. So your, attor your attorney is your coach. Just like how in basketball they have coaches. The coaches tell them what to do, tell them what not to do. He called the plays. So your attorney, a.k.a. your lawyer, is the one making your plays. The only problem is your lawyer is working or is playing on the same team at, that you are trying to win. And that's the situation a lot of our people end up in. 
So nine out of 10 times, you either go to jail or you pay a fine. Now you have the prosecutor who sets everything up. Okay, well, the prosecutor don't set it up really. The prosecutor, he just prosecutes the case. Okay, but um, the prosecutor is pretty much one of the main players as well trying to prosecute you. Okay, wants you to lose because the only way for him to get paid is for you to lose or for you to go to jail or for you to pay a fine. So this is all a big game. Now, let me ask you a question. Let us use LeBron for example. Before every game, or let's just say in off season, before LeBron go play on the court, what do LeBron do? LeBron gets up every single morning and he go practice. He takes shots, a thousand shots every single morning. He practice, right? So that means he practices before he actually go on the court and play. My question to you is this. How many of y'all practice before you go in the court? And do you have a coach? Because guess what? LeBron got a coach. Kobe had a coach. All the great players got coaches. So who's coaching you? You are waiting to get an attorney to coach you that's not on the same team as you are. You see, that's called the legal system. And that's why you have almost 2 million of our brothers and sisters in jail right now. That's why our children could ride their bikes on the streets and get tickets or end up in jail. Right now, if you go to the library and you take out a, car, a book, and let's just say you, for, you forgot to bring the book or you lost it, and they send you a letter or two and you don't respond, guess what? Right now, that's considered a felony because it is federal property, library books. So you're going to jail for not bringing back a book. Do you really get the gist and the severity of what I'm talking about? So that's what happens when you're dealing with a legal system and not a lawful system. Now, I know somebody made a comment and said that they made it illegal for common law in the United States. Well, that's not true. Okay, that's not true. The truth of the matter is, it's unlawful what they are doing. So therefore, they are trying to make common law illegal. But there's a difference between legalese and lawful. There is a vast difference between legal and lawful. Legal deals with statutes and codes and ordinances. Okay, policies. That's why they have the police to deal with policies however when you are dealing with law law real law common law the law of the land deal with the flesh man and flesh woman the flesh being and not that fictitious entity that they created on the birth certificate or on your driver's license or with the social security number when they are prosecuting that entity you think it's you so when you go to court what do you do when they ask, well, could you state your name? You are giving them the exact name that's on that bond, on that trust. So they are abusing that name and not the living man and woman. Okay? And you, when you put your hand up and you say that's you and you swear, okay, what you are doing, you are consenting. You are giving them your consent. They cannot do anything without your consent. Just like how the bank cannot generate money without your signature. Do you really understand the game that you are playing? It is a game that we are playing. Whether you want to play it or not, it's a game. The, 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 the key is and the skill is to learn how to play the game so that we could get out of the game. Because I don't want to be playing games with my life. I don't want to be playing games with our children's lives. But unfortunately, that's what was set up. A game. It's like the Hunter games. And you have to try to figure your way out to escape. And you are playing with your life. And that's why I urge people and I tell people, turn those televisions off. Turn those distractions off. Stop looking at these reality shows. Stop looking at these celebrities. Stop, stop, stop glorifying them. They're not giving you that information to save your life, to protect your children, to protect your livelihood. So they cannot do anything without your consent. They will try to threaten you. They will use coercion 
Yes, they will use threats, even threaten to put you in handcuff. You know what? Go in handcuff. Just never consent. Can I search your car? No. I do not consent. Well, we are going to take your fingerprints. No, I do not consent. The whole key is to get you to contract. They cannot do anything with that fictitious entity unless you, the living flesh man and woman, give your consent. So with the, the, the videos that I'm putting up lately deals with common law and go to the website, you'll see a lot of information. Okay, the website is in the link below. You will also see information on trust law. But one thing I want you guys to please take out of this is this. Please do not go around calling yourself a sovereign. Sovereignty deals with a sovereign move immigrants who came into our land looking for a status of sovereignty. As an American Aborigine, we don't have to say that we are sovereign. Automatically, we are sovereign. So we don't have to go announce that. I hope that makes sense. Because once you start saying that you are sovereign, it is a red flag because there are a lot of sovereign groups, a lot of sovereign governments, a lot of sovereign militias that the government is watching, that the federal government is watching, and they are on a terrorist list, so to speak. So I just wanted to make, make, make you guys really get a true understanding of this. The videos I'm putting in is more so for you to learn and have a true understanding and understanding of common law, but not to call yourself a sovereign. You don't need to claim sovereignty. Automatically, we are sovereigns because we are the people. So you have to know the difference. I want you to open up your mind more to, so that you could start protecting your family, start protecting your children. All this stuff about coming to take your home and mortgage and foreclosures, all those things is unlawful. Now, they made it legal, but it's unlawful. Smoking, you know, smoking herb. When you say marijuana and weed and cannabis, guess what? You are smoking something that's patent. They're not arresting you for smoking herb. They're, they're arresting you for smoking something that's patent, that the, that the government own. I hope you guys hear the difference. They are not arresting you for smoking herb. They are arresting you for smoking weed, marijuana, and cannabis because those things are patent. They are, they are arresting you for smoking the name and not the herb. So when you start saying, well, you know, officer, I was only smoking one, one this or one that, or I only had one bag of weed, then they got you because you, you, you are telling them that you have, you are telling, you, you are telling them that you have their patent product and then you are using it in, in, in a form what they deem illegal. So I hope you guys get the difference. When they come get take your children in your home, that's, that's unlawful, but they made it legal. Your children are your property. So when you even go to court, don't say it's your children. No, say it's your property. That's your property. It came from you and the father, from the you and the mother. That's my property, and I do not consent. And everything they're doing is illegal. Know that it's no, it's not illegal, it's unlawful. So they may tell you, well, common law, no, no, nah. We the people, we are the common people, so therefore we we use common law, and common law shut them down every time. That's why they, they stopped teaching civics in school. Remember back in the day they used to teach civics? All of a sudden they change it gradually to American government because American government deals with policies, statutes, and codes where they have policy enforcers, which is called the police, to give you tickets for everything because they are defending and promoting and protecting ordinances and codes. I hope that makes sense. So study common law. Study trust law. Learn how to defend yourself against these vipers. And it's not just our people that's going through it. Caucasians as well. Asians as well. Anybody who is a subject of 
the United States are subjected to the state that they are in. They are all corporate citizens. So that's why I tell people this has nothing to do with the color of your skin. Nothing to do with it. Because once you have a birth, once you have a birth certificate, you became property. You became a corporate entity. And that is what that's being abused. That is what that's being abused. Okay? Paying taxes is a voluntary system. That's public information. Having a social is a voluntary system. That's public information. Okay? Once again, having a driver's license is a privilege. And that's actually illegal. Well, actually, it's unlawful to tell people they need a driver's license if they are not doing commerce. We have a right to travel our own land. We have that right. And it's unlawful for any state to take a privilege, I mean, to take a natural, create a given right and turn it into a privilege for a profit. That's unlawful. So these people are breaking the law every single day and nobody's holding them accountable. Nobody. It is time that the people step up. We the people need to step up and hold these people accountable for the oath that they took in office. We don't work for them. They work for us. We are the bosses, not them. But you see, y'all got it the other way around because they, 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 they impose fear. They coerce you. They trick you into all those things and you get afraid and you give up your rights and then you consent. And that's the problem. So be aware of those traps. So that's why I'm posting those videos. All right. But once again, final warning. Do not go around talking about you a sovereign. All right. That is a red flag to call you a terrorist. Don't do that. Okay. Study the law. Study the common law. Study the law. Study trust law. And once again, leave these people UCC forms alone. UCC is for federal employees. Now, if you, are, if you are skilled at it, you could use it in your documents, not filling out their form, in your own documents that you create. You could use it, but you have to put those in brackets or put it in a separate um, part of your document as an attachment because it is not your property. You didn't create those documents. And that's why a lot of people are getting in trouble. And then you have all these people on, the, on YouTube, all these people on the internet telling people, oh, well, go fill out the SF-181 form, go do this UCC-1 and this UCC. This is not your form. It belongs to the federal government. I'm not saying there's not a, a use for that. I'm not saying that. But you have to know when to use it and how to use it and why you are using it and where to use it. So for me, I keep it simple. I'm an American Aborigine. If I, if I have to do any documents or use any type of paper, I create my own documents and I send it to them. And if I have to quote anything from UCC, I put it in brackets or I'm going to attach it as an attachment, but I'm not going to put it in my document as if it's mine. Okay? No, that is plagiarism. It's called infringement. And that alone in itself is that you could get in trouble for that if they really want to be technical. So I'm just giving y'all some jewels to open up your mind so you could work with. All right. The website for the link, um, the, the website link is below. And don't forget the GoFundMe. Again, support those who are coming, giving you the authentic truth. Truly about liberating the minds of our people, keeping our people from their jails, because that is literally genocide fraud racketeering kidnapping because they create a legal system that's totally unlawful we need to go back to law instead of these people this legal system that these people created to send our children to jail all right chief kalanago with another video peace love and light share the information once again you are not sovereign in, in, in the context of going around telling people that you are sovereign or putting that you are sovereign on paper. Don't do that. That's a no-no. That's a red flag. Because we are Aborigines, American Indians, automatically we are sovereign. So we don't have to, we don't have to shout it out. The sovereign movement is for immigrants who want certain rights in our land. And they deserve those rights. Because why not? Everybody deserves to have their own creator given rights. It's their rights to exercise that. 
all right once again support the gofundme peace and